JT Masit. I'm with the Colorado Radiomix Concrete Association, or CRMCA. I'm here to talk about the procedures involved in the ACI certification for the Concrete Field Testing Technician Grade 1. ASTM C138 is the standard for determining density of fresh concrete and calculating yield, cement content, and air content. Let's go over the procedure first. Make sure you have the measure, a 5 8 inch rod, a mallet, a scoop, and a scale. As always, let me remind you that as I lead a lot of ACI certifications here in Colorado, I get asked the question about which videos or trainings should somebody use, and understand these videos do not replace a certification training that a company might lead, but they are very useful tools. So with that, understand these videos should be up to date, so check this one too. Dampen the measure, also called a pot. The standard states the interior, though we suggest dampening both the interior and exterior of the pot. Weigh your pot. The scale should be set on a flat, level, firm surface. The tailgate of your truck is not a firm surface. Place the pot on a flat, level, firm surface and fill in three equal volumes. Fill the first lift about one third of the volume, distributing the concrete. Rod 25 times through the lift, uniformly across the surface section, best to start from the outside, spiraling in towards the center. Take care to rod fully without striking the bottom of the pot forcefully. Tap the sides smartly 10 to 15 times with a mallet to release the air pockets and close the tamping rod voids. The second lift gets filled to two thirds of the volume, Rod again 25 times across the surface cross section, penetrating into the first layer about one inch without stirring. Then tap all the sides of the pot a total of 10 to 15 times smartly. Fill the third and final layer, the last one third of the volume while avoiding overfilling. Rod the lift 25 times, again across the surface area and penetrate the lower layer one inch. Do not add additional concrete during rotting if the layer drops below the top of the pot. Finish consolidation by tapping all the sides of the pot 10 to 15 times smartly, again to close voids. After rotting and tapping the top lift, an optimal amount of concrete of about 1 8 inch is expected. A representative amount of material can be added or removed at this time to reach the optimal level. Using the strike off plate, the top surface should be finished smoothly. Press the plate flat onto the pot to cover two thirds of the top surface. In a zigzag pattern, pull the plate towards you until the entire plate is off the pot, keeping pressure down and the plate flat the entire time. Place the plate to the original spot covering two thirds of the top surface. Then again in a zigzag pattern, push the plate away from you until the entire plate crosses the surface again keeping it pressured down and flat. Then incline the plate about 45 degrees and strike off the surface from one end to another several times. A good reference is going north, south, east, and west. Finally, make sure to clean off the exterior of the pot entirely along the edge of the rim, around the handles if there, and the sides and bottom edge. Weigh the full pot and calculate the density to the nearest 0.1 pound per cubic foot. To determine the density of the concrete, you must have the empty pot weight, the full pot weight, and the volume of the pot. The volume of the pot is determined through calibration, which we won't go over in this video, which should be recorded to the nearest thousandth. Subtract the empty pot weight from the full pot weight to determine the weight of concrete, then divide by the volume of the pot. This results in the density of the concrete, which for a standard concrete should be between 135 to 160 pounds per cubic foot. Using the batch ticket, the theoretical density can also be determined using the weight of the materials divided by the volume of the batch. Yield is also something that is helpful on site. It is defined as the volume of the concrete produced based on the combined known materials that make it up. The purchaser of the concrete will look for yield to assist in knowing if they are getting the amount of concrete they have ordered. Yield is calculated using the weights of all the materials batched, divided by the density multiplied by 27 resulting in cubic yards. 
Relative yield is the ratio of the actual concrete volume divided by the designed batch volume, or yield divided by design yield. Cement content can be determined based on the batched cement weight divided by the actual volume, or yield. Air content can also be calculated either theoretically or using the actual concrete batched. If you have any questions, please do email us at aci at coloradocaa.org and we will do our damnedest to try to help you out.